Hello. In this Fairness Workflow demo, we do six things. One, define a protected group or group of interest. Two, set a fairness objective. Three, assess relative disadvantage for the protected group. Four, assess root causes of disadvantage. Five, conduct targeted interventions. And six, analyze fairness versus accuracy trade-off for each intervention. Protected groups can be introduced by creating new segments using one or more of the model's input features or an excluded input variable, which is not used for training. In this US-focused example, we chose to treat black households as the protected group. Note that the percentage of black households in the training dataset, 14.7%, is comparable to the overall black population in the US. The next step is to set out our fairness objective. We do this in two steps. First, we select a suitable fairness metric from a rich set of metrics available in the system. Then we set an acceptable range for the value of that metric. In this example, the metric chosen is equality of opportunity ratio, with an acceptable range of plus or minus 30%. The next step is to assess whether black households are significantly disadvantaged compared to the rest of the population. The answer seems to be yes. The equal opportunity ratio is just 0.55, instead of the ideal 1 or even the acceptable 0.7. Additionally, the model is also more inaccurate for black households, with an AUC of 0.84 compared to 0.94 for the rest of the population. Measuring relative disadvantage is arguably the easy part. Identifying the root causes behind such disparity is more difficult. Zooming in, we look for two things features that are proxies for race, and features that might be difficult to justify due to their black box nature. Turns out that there are examples of both in this instance. The geocode and postcode features contribute more than a third of the disparity between black households and the rest, and may be seen as proxies for race in the US context. Two other calculated features, underbanked flag and economic stability indicator, contribute about 20% more to the disparity. These are black box features and difficult to justify. So here we are with a baseline model that is inaccurate, perhaps unfairly biased, and dependent on potential proxy or black box features. What can we do by way of mitigation? Two things. First, we could remove these proxy and black box features and retrain the model. Second, we could supplement the existing data with complementary alternate data such as tax information. We tried both, with striking results. The equality of opportunity metric goes up from 0.55 in the original model, in green, to 0.66 after the first intervention, in blue, and then 0.71 after the second, in orange. Black households are now much less disadvantaged. Not only that, but we also find that the model becomes more accurate for black households between the baseline green model and the final version in orange. The accuracy remains almost unchanged for the rest of the population through these interventions. So there we have it, a model that is both less disadvantaged and more accurate for black households.